I'm going to attempt to dump my BIOS on a small PS1. Uh, so not the PlayStation 1 model, the the dubbed PS1. Um, I'm just using a drinks cap and straw and a piece of blue tack. And I did the disc swap trick, which worked quite nicely to load up the PSX BIOS dumper. So I'm now going to transfer part one to the memory card. No memory card in slot one. And it goes. I turn to the main menu. Check your memory cards. Sorry about the potato cam and the shaky hands. Dump in, please wait. So I use the uh, PSX emulator EPSXE many many years ago, um, way before I would have actually had the ability to, or even the time and effort to care about actually going through and doing this. But it'll be nice to have my own genuine BIOS. I've noticed a lot of the downloads and the BIOS packs online, although they work, um, so many of them are renamed and dubbed wrong, like one will be called 1001 US and it won't actually be it. Okay, anyway, so part one done. Now we'll return to the main menu. Two parts, two, three, four, or five. Okay, so now I'm using my uh, PS2 Slim with the, um, I don't know, whatever that PS2 loader thing is, a uh, U launcher. And I'm copying parts one and two to five from the BIOS, from the memory cards. Uh, seems to work best in slot one. So I'll take it out. Pop them in. Choose memory card. Copy it. Choose the mass storage device. paste it and away to go from there I suppose on the PC and uh, you have to use this program to merge the files together into one so all five parts become one BIOS and then we'll test it out on EPSXE 2.0 so it takes a while but um, well not that long See? That's my bias that I created. Clock, the clock. I can't see the clock for some reason. Uh, and I'm also running uh, Crash Team Racing from an ISO that I actually managed to make including the copyright so I've got a 100% or at least as close to one to one copy as anyone's ever going to get um, I mean a lot of the files that exist with regards to emulators are from like 2001 2002 with the exception of plugins that have been updated so my crash team racing is 722A32 And if you were to um, 
try and do the disc without the copyright, it would get to 97, 98% normally, and then just after like 20 minutes, it basically goes nowhere. Um, I let my PC go for like two hours though. But um, it would, the file would normally be a lot, lot smaller, and then you'd have to patch that with the copyright fix. But um, now this is no longer required, because I finally got mine working. So yeah, strongly recommend people do that instead of downloading the links online. Um, I'm not quite sure how big the file is that's available online. Uh, normally Emu Paradise is the place to go for that. But yeah, big thanks to the person who did the coding for the BIOS now. So I've got four more PlayStations to do now.